Okay, in this video I am going to show you how to construct a reflection diagram using optical pins. This is a skill that might come up uh, during your GCSE, so it's worth uh, learning it. Okay, what we start off with is a uh, piece of paper that looks like this, and I've pinned it to a uh, cork board so I can stick pins in it. I've got a mirror here, plain mirror. And what I'm going to do is start off by drawing a line down the front of my mirror, like that. And that's going to be my reference point for where the mirror goes in case I jog it. Um, I like to put tick marks here to show that this is a mirror, and we can just label it. Two. The next step is to put your mirror back, make sure it lines up with your mirror line, and you're going to take two pins. Put one pin fairly close to the mirror, and then a second pin a bit further away. Now, the trick to this is you are going to put two more pins in the paper, but you're going to put them down so that they line up with the image of these two pins. So in a moment, I'm going to show you this a bit more up close. But when you look inside this mirror, you will see an image of this pin and then an image of this pin. The image of this pin will be about here. The image of this pin will appear to be about there, but inside the mirror. So it's going to look something like this. And at the moment, what you can see is my first pin, and the image of my first pin is inside the mirror. So what we need to do is move around until there. Can you see it there? Now, the images are overlapping. So... You can see... Here's my first pin, here's my second pin, and inside the mirror I've got one image, and then behind it a second image. So in order to work out where you're going to draw your reflected line, what you do is take another pin, and you line the pin up, with the two previous images. So you get it to be in the same position as those, so that all three line up in a nice neat row. And then you take one final pin and you put that in a line two. So that as you look into your mirror, you see four pins, all in a nice neat row. When you've done that, the next step is to remove all of the pins. Don't stop. Tell a lie. The next step is to remove your mirror. The mirror comes out. And then you take a ruler, and you place the ruler against the two pins. Place the ruler against two pins, you can then draw a straight line across the ruler, and then do the same with the other two set of pins. and you can see that they meet perfectly. The final step is to remove your pins, and now we can start labelling it. So this line is the incident ray. This is the reflected ray. And now we need to find our normal. To find the normal, we're going to put a protractor against our mirror, 
and remember that the normal is always at 90 degrees to the mirror. So, line it up carefully. There's 90 degrees. So that would be my normal. And then the last thing to never forget is that we measure our angles of incidence and angles of reflection from the ray to the normal every time. So this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of reflection. And let's just see how accurately I've done it. The angle of incidence is 45 degrees. And the angle of reflection is 50 degrees, but I'm going to lie and say 45 degrees because I haven't drawn it totally accurately because um, I'm doing it for you guys, but that's what you would have got um, if you'd done this a little bit more carefully and, and weren't trying to put it on YouTube afterwards. Um, I really hope this is useful to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, please do see me in class.